Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey, CEO of the World Floor Covering Association. Thank you for joining me for another Focus on Leadership. Today, I want to talk to you about an event that occurred last week. NASA celebrated the 50th anniversary of the splashdown of Apollo 13, a mission that some people call a success and other people call a failure. There's no doubt these astronauts were not able to complete the mission that they had set out on. Let me fill you in and take you back. If you haven't seen the movie, I encourage you to do so, directed by Ron Howard, and it is amazingly accurate to what really happened. They had transcripts they were able to follow from NASA, and he followed it to the T. Phenomenal. The second day of the voyage, in fact, I remember at school, I was in the second grade, and they stopped the school for us to pray for the astronauts because they didn't think they were going to make it back home. Because on the second day of the voyage, they were asked to stir the oxygen tanks, and when they went to do that, it set off an explosion. The explosion was so powerful that initially the astronauts thought that they had been hit by a meteorite, and then they realized that they were spewing gas out into the atmosphere, and so they realized that the oxygen levels were falling. It became apparent there that they were not going to make it to the moon. They were not going to land on the moon. They were not going to walk on the moon. Quite frankly, it looked like there was no way that they would survive. Now, there's a couple of famous lines from Apollo 13. One, I know you know, you've heard it. We, we use it every time there's a major crisis that comes on that just came out of nowhere that is unexpected. Houston, we have a problem. The reality is, if you listen to the transcripts, that's not actually what was said, but that's what Tom Hanks says in the movie, and we've adopted it, and it's become quite famous. I want to focus on another statement that was made by the commander, James Lovell. It happens when they're going around the moon, and they're using the pull of the moon to slingshot them back to the earth. It's the only way, quite fr frankly, that they're going to be able to make it back with the oxygen supply that they have. Two of the astronauts, Hayes and Swigert, are looking out the window at where they would have landed. They see where other people have landed before, and they're just admiring this. And they talk about that admiration. And James Lovell, as a leader, makes a statement that I think is just amazing. He looks at the other two astronauts, gets their, their eye contact, and he says, Gentlemen, what are your intentions? I want to go home. Here are three astronauts, and two of them are focused on the past. What could have been, what should have been, what would have been. But James Lovell is the commander as the leader looks at them and says, gentlemen, we must focus on where we're going. Now, the chances of them getting home were not good. I don't know if it's true, but I've heard people say that there was more computer technology on the 1980 Cadillac than there was in that module, in that, in that, um, in that spacecraft. Whether that's true or not, I can tell you it was a miracle that these three men made it back and they made it back alive. What Lovell said to those men without saying it was, we can't live in the past. We can't live back there. Let me tell you, maybe you're haunted by your past. Maybe you're haunted by the fact that what started off as a great year is not looking like a great year anymore. The past is a great place to learn. It is a terrible place to live. Don't be bound back there. As a leader, you have the opportunity to set the destination. And when the destination changes because of something out of your control, like a coronavirus, then it is not only your opportunity, it is your responsibility to set the destination for your people. Luke 9.62 is a scripture in the Bible that says this, If any man puts his hand to the plowshare and looks back over his shoulder, he's not fit for the kingdom of God. Now, I don't share that with you for any religious significance. What I share it for is the visual significance. Think about this. If any man puts his hand to the plowshare and looks back over his shoulder... He's not fit for the kingdom of God. What's it saying? It's saying that when you look back, you, you lose the focus on the direct line to your destination. As the leader right now, it is your opportunity and your responsibility to set the destination, not only for yourself, but for your team. Learn from what's happened. Celebrate past victories, but don't live back there. The past is an awesome place to learn and a terrible place to live. God bless you. Now go out and lead.